don't you want to have lived your life only having tried to do good, only trying to make things better? I think it's fair to say most of us want to do that before we shuffle off this mortal coil. Now imagine you did the exact opposite of everything you intended. Imagine you became known as one of the most destructive single organisms ever to have walked the earth. That is the fate that befell Thomas Midgley Jr. Born in 1889 in Beaver Falls, Philadelphia, Thomas was destined to follow his father inventors in his footsteps. He probably shouldn't have. Over the course of his life, he was awarded more than 100 patents. When he was at General Motors, Midgley was tasked with fixing a problem that existed in engines. A problem that existed primarily because cars are explosions on wheels. Small explosions, controlled explosions, but explosions on wheels. In a car, you have a piston with a gas-air mixture. The piston comes up, compresses the gas-air mixture, the spark plug fires, ignites it, and sends it back down. This happens over and over and over and over again, and this is what drives the engine. But when you suddenly compress gas, its temperature goes up. And increasing a petrol air mixture's temperature suddenly is not always the best idea. Occasionally, it can ignite on its own without the spark plug. This is called knocking, because it makes a big noise. It can ruin the engine, because engines are only designed for very specific explosions. Midgley was tasked with creating a compound to be added to petrol that would stop this knocking. And he did! And it worked! It worked really well, it stopped knocking. It was also lead. He created leaded petrol. Tetraethyl lead was the name of the compound he created. Lead is pan-sweatingly dangerous. There is no safe levels of lead for human consumption. Lead can cause brain damage, kidney failure, nausea, hallucinations, blindness, depression, pain, seizures, slurred speech, memory loss, pregnancy complications, coma, and unsurprisingly, death. In children, lead can stunt development, both mentally and physically. It's, it's fun stuff. It's, it's great. When you put it in petrol, it comes out the exhaust and ends up everywhere. Ice cores taken from the Arctic show the period in human history where we used leaded petrol. Now, lead poisoning had been around for a while, but I think Midgley thought, this is a compound, it would be safe. And chlorine's a poisonous gas, but it's also a part of table salt when in compound. He was so wrong. Midley did try to show that his lab compound was safe by huffing it for a solid minute. Now I like the taste of tea and I like the smell of tea, but I'm not going to huff vapours for a solid minute. Soon after he was treated for lead poisoning, so make of that what you will. He was then dropped as lead project leader. Lead project leader. Maybe he should have stayed somewhere quiet because in the late 1920s he turned his attention to another problem. Refrigeration. Fridges at the time used dangerous, toxic and often explosive chemicals to keep fridges cool. Midgley and his team saw this was a problem and turned his attention to creating a new, safe, non-reactive chemical and he was successful. They created Freon, which is the world's first chlorofluorocarbon or CFC. Not only are CFCs incredibly potent greenhouse gases, but in the atmosphere, sunlight breaks them down and the now free chlorine is super, super good at destroying ozone and depleting the ozone layer. Best known for being the thing that stops us burning to death. They made a pretty big hole that took years of legislation and decades of work to even begin repairing. Midgley kept trying to make the world easier for us all and consistently picked the worst possible way to go about it. This way of living was also his way of dying. Later in life, he contracted polio and he created a system of levers and pulleys and ropes to make it easier to get around and for people to help him move around. On November 2nd, 1944, it strangled him to death. Few people have left a legacy so unintentionally destructive.
The whole world is still paying for one man's problems. And we will continue to for decades. Thomas Midgley Jr. will forever remain as one of the best case studies that show that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Thank you for watching. I created Story of Science to try and get across the history and the context behind the discoveries and not just the bare facts. If you thought this was fun, please like, share, subscribe, all those usual things YouTubers ask. And I'll see you next week for another one.